And now, coming to you from the studios of STL TV in Forest Park, it's the best of the STL. On tonight's show, author Charlotte B.M. Otley. Guitarist for Greek Fire, Ryan Phillips. Heating things up in the kitchen, the Abolitos Cantina. And tonight's entertainment, Greek Fire. And now, your host with the most, Cassandra Walker and Kara Sabio. Put your hands together, Monday, fortune and fame. God help it is the name of the game, but it doesn't matter anyway. No, it doesn't matter anyway. Break it up or leave it behind. Oh, keep it moving, never know what I'll find, cause it doesn't matter anyway. No, no, it doesn't matter. Walker. And I'm Kara Savio. Hey, Kara's filling in for Ivy, who's out this week, and we miss you, Ivy. Come back soon. That's right. But most of you probably already know Kara because she does so much for the station, and in particular, in your ward. Yeah, so, which is a great segment. Of course, all of our segments here at STL TV are great. Uh, what's one of the things you like about the most, though, Kara? Um, I love being able to go out into the neighborhoods and actually see what's going mm -hmm. on and find out and be able to tell everybody. That's what I like. I like watching because yeah. you always give good information and things that I didn't even know. Didn't even know. Mm -hmm. That's right. You learn all this stuff. Well, wait, enough about that because <laughs> you had a really exciting week. Tell us about you. I Actually, did. a month. Yeah, the month of May has been pretty good. We had Mother's Day and I did uh, care. When I'm not hosting Best of the STL, which is, you know, the best thing I do. Right. I went back to school and I got my master's in education. So I was able to celebrate that. All right, girl. So that was a lot of fun for me and my family. And, and there uh, she is on the screen. There Look I there. am. Check Yay. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. It was a great time. Awesome, great time. girl. Thank you so much, Kara. Now, Kara, also in May, we celebrate sometimes weddings, but it's National Bike Month. Bike Month, Did you yes. know that? And I don't have a bike. You I, have a bike, I, I bet. I do, I do. I have a bike. You know, my whole family, we ride bikes from time to time. Right. But uh, I really think it's great exercise. Well, it is. And trailnet.org yes. is an organization that does all kinds of events. Mm -hmm. and, and, I mean... Such good exercise. I feel bad I don't have a bike. Now you'll get one. Yeah. And you can go to trailnet.org and find out how to use it. How to use it. And again, they have <laughs> all kinds of different events. They do. They do. And I'm looking forward to finding out more about them. And maybe we can team up when you get your bike. Okay. That's all a right. Deal. Now, Kara, I know you're probably thinking, Bestie STL is just local. But I know you know we're all over the world by now, don't we're you? We're everywhere. We are because we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. And YouTube, which we always say you can go from St. Louis to Shanghai. <laughs> and find us on YouTube 24 minutes. hours a day, seven days a week. A week, and it is, and all of our things are uploaded, so mm -hmm. all the shows, if you miss something, you can actually see it on YouTube. Absolutely. We're going to keep you informed. So thank you, Kara, for filling in tonight. We're going to have a great show. Great, and I'm so proud to be sitting here with I'm you. I'm so when, happy to the have new graduate. you. We, uh, thank you. We never have worked together before. No. Perfect timing. It's going to be a fun show, too. we got a great audience. Great show. Speaking of audience, you know, Kara, LJ is always in the know, and right now, she's in the audience. LJ? I am over here with the beautiful people. I feel like I'm in L.A. We got beautiful people here in St. Louis, particularly in our studio audience. Look at these people. Give it up. <laughs> and you, too, can be one of the beautiful people and be a part of our studio audience here at the Best of the STL. Just give us a call at 314-552-2970 and come on and play with us. Let's see what Cassandra's doing over there now in that kitchen. Thank you, LJ. Well, you won't believe it, but I'm over here with Will Peely. Pelly. Pelly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and okay. Jim Lake. Yep. And you know what? You're from Diablito. That's Cantinos. it. That's it. Did I say it right? Diablito's Cantina. Diablito's Cantina. 
All right, now, first of all, you are the chef. Yes, ma'am. The man in charge. That's me. So what are you going to be fixing today? I'm going to do a, uh, a guacamole, a fresh guacamole, Ooh. and a mango salsa with jalapenos. Excellent. And why did you choose that, Will? They, uh, at, at the restaurant, we have a salsa bar with like nine to ten different salsas that rotate every day. Really? And this is the most popular, and we cannot go a day without it. You're kidding. No. Nine to ten every day? Every day. And mango, why do you think mango? Because first of all, when I think of salsa, I don't really think mango, but the way you put it together, yes. oh my, I'll never eat salsa the same again. Yeah, you had some. I did, I had quite a bit, quite a bit. Why mango? Uh, mango, it's, it's, a, it's a tropical fruit, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just something that you don't get every day. Mm -hmm. So so people come out for it? Yep. All right, because they can get it there. They can get it here. All right, now Jim, you are the bar manager over there. I am. What does that entail, Jim? Lots of drinks, but not for you. Uh. Uh, well, some for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, just uh, making drinks, uh, giving people a good time while they're there. All right, so what is one of the favorite drinks that's ordered um, just uh, about every day? Margaritas, sangria, which we'll be making a sangria today. Wonderful. That's All right, cool. I'm looking forward to that. Now, I can't try it, but I will be able to smell it and tell it by the aroma <laughs> that it's fantastic. Is that correct? Absolutely. All right, so you're going to get to shaking that up in just a little bit. Absolutely. Okay, now, Will, tell me about your location. Why did you choose it? Why is that location good for you? It's, it's directly on SLU's campus. Wow. Um, so we get you know, every couple of months we get a resurgence of new kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's centrally located in Midtown St. Louis. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a great location, a safe, a nice, safe neighborhood. Yes. Uh, and we have two parking lots, which is another, Whoa. yeah, that's a big thing for a restaurant. <laughs> that's huge. Um, and all you have to do is go down Vandeventer, uh -huh. and it's at Vandeventer and Laclede. You look for a gigantic yellow building <laughs> that has two dinosaurs on top fighting over what? tequila. Really? Yeah. Who came up with that idea? That was the owners. I like it. It's strange. It is strange, but it, it, it will catch the eye. It will. That's what I'm talking about. So today we're going to come back a little bit later in the show and you're going to show us how you're mixing up everything. That's it. Because there is an art to this. Yep. You can't just slap some avocado on a bowl and call it guacamole. No. No, that doesn't happen. And there's art to what you're doing as well. Uh, yeah, there's a bit. A little bit. And, little and bit. you are you the artiste? Uh, I. I will be mixing it up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll call you Sir Mix-a-Lot just for tonight then. Sure. All right then, so we're going to be back and talk to you a little bit longer in the next segment, and we'll find out about how you mixed everything together and how delicious it's going to be. Sounds great. All right, well, Kara is in the audience, and she has someone she's speaking to, not about guacamole, but about an important subject. Kara? And thank you, Cassandra. Well, we've got Tony Harrison and Deborah Brown there with Women in Vision, an excellent organization, and I've got both of them here to talk to me uh, tonight a little bit about it. This group has been around for 14 years. Exactly, 14 Tony, years. Tony, tell us a little bit about exactly what the organization is. Well, basically, Women in Vision is a non-for-profit organization, and the vision was given to Yolanda Robinson, who's the president, and it's basically to aid and assist and empower women who've been incarcerated for nonviolent crimes. Which you don't think about that. No, people, a lot of people don't. And we go into Clayton Correctional Jail every Saturday, and we teach Transitions for Life, which is basic life skill classes to these ladies, and we try to give them something so that they can be able to come back and acclimate themselves into society. That is absolutely wonderful because they need that. They're, they you definitely know? do. And they're kind of a left out group. We're also going to talk about a great benefit that you've got going in. It's a 14th annual Christmas in July yes. benefit. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. Christmas, huh? Well, yes. And it is really a fabulous function. We really have a good time. Uh, we're having a luncheon this year. Uh, oftentimes in the past we've had a dinner, but we decided to do something a little different. So not only are we going to have a luncheon, but we also are going to have a play. And that play is being written by Tim Collins. He's a one Band, or yes, <laughs> exactly. And so we're really looking forward to that. And so we're hoping that our excitement here with you all tonight will catch on with everybody and everyone will be excited about coming out and seeing a little bit more about what Women in Vision is about. And tell us real quickly about what he's a one man show for. Yes, he is. He's a one man show and he writes and produces all his plays. And, and it's going to start at two o'clock in the afternoon and it will conclude probably around eight o'clock and we're going to have the play we're going to have entertainment and we also are going to have dinner so it's going to be a fabulous fabulous function you can purchase tickets if you're interested by emailing us at s at um, wiv at swbell.net so we're we're looking forward to uh the Christmas in July is July 29th and it's going to be at the Marriott Airport Hotel 
So we're really looking forward to everyone coming out and supporting Fabulous. us. Fabulous, and I know we've got all the, the audience behind us going to make it. Yes, show up. definitely, definitely. <laughs> okay, great, you guys, and keep up the good work. Great right, organization. Well, now we're going to take a quick break, but you want to stay around because we've got Charlotte V.M. Otley, the one and only, with us after the break. Snow is on the ground, but I'm in the air. Seems I'm missing everything, and there's nothing to share. A bittersweet pill to take when nobody cares. Of the trouble all in my mind, and the weight on this traveler. Always here on my mind. Now, our next guest is a woman of many talents. Over the past 30 years, she has served as a university instructor, award-winning media executive producer, an on-air talent, as well as an entrepreneur and a government executive. Woo! And we're not done there. Uh, we've got, as if that wasn't enough, uh -huh. okay, after all that laundry list, we've got that she is an author to her own long list of accomplishments. Wow. I, we're going to add that, and we're going to talk about the book tonight. Yes, she has a lot going on, Kara, and she is here to tell us more. So please help us welcome Charlotte V.M. Otley. All right. Okay, that was smooth. All right. <laughs> welcome, Charlotte. Be careful getting in that chair. Okay. So I good think to I'm have you. Keep myself landed. Okay, on that's here. all right. It's exciting. Doing? It is. This is exciting, and the audience and the band and the is smoking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so your lovely. book. Your book. Yes. I'm very excited about that. Absolutely. Very and, excited. And we're going to talk about that. Before we get good. to that, real quickly, can you yes. tell me about your day job? We oh, my day about, job. Yes. Oh, it's wonderful. I work for Michael McMillan. Need I say more? I know. Okay. <laughs> He's the license collector for the yes, city of St. Louis. And I'm into probably my fourth generation of starting over again or doing something different. Mm -hmm. And I was fortunate enough to land a position with him as director of communications and special initiatives. Yes. Awesome. And Fantastic. it's like I'm taking a graduate course in relationships. He is a purist mm. when it comes for to excellence, mm -hmm. relationships with people, mm -hmm. and I am so honored that I stepped into this picture of success yes. and have an experience with him. He's well phenomenal. Said. Well said, well said. Yes. Great. Well, again, let's talk about, we're going to show the book, Surviving Success. Yes. And I, I want to know, right off the bat, before you get into the, the book, Donald Trump, you were you were yes. in his yes, yes you were I actually was. in his book Best Advice Ever Received. You were exactly. featured. Exactly, I was one of 99 people who was in his book, and I was very honored. And he was attracted to the title of my article, which was Mind Your Own Business. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, people usually think of something negative when they think of that, mm -hmm. but it's really take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and then radiate that out. Mm -hmm. And if you're being the best you can be to yourself, it'll be captivating and magnetic mm -hmm. to other people in everything that you do. So that's always been my philosophy, a la I'm expressing the same thing in the book, Surviving Success. I like that. I like mm -hmm. the way you stated that. Now, in your book, you talk about two sides of success. Oh, yes. That's so intriguing. The duplicity. Yes. yes. Go into that for us a little bit. You know, I think that it's important that we talk to people about, you know, we have all these books about how to become successful mm -hmm. and all the glamour of a successful life. But success has its price. Mm -hmm. Because what, the higher you climb, the lonelier it gets. Mm. Um, the higher you go, um, you start doubting true friendships. Yeah. Is it because of my money and my mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. and that? You're scrutinized with everything that you do, so mm -hmm. no matter how well intended, is second guess. Sure. But you know, through it all, when you know who you are, <laughs> when you know what you bring to the table of success, you can't be rocked. You may be um, a little disappointed every now and then because often it's the people closest to you, but I want to remind people that the same thing it took to get you there, never forget because you can remain there. Mm 
to stay there. To stay, stay the there. Yes, and you know, absolutely. and to, we, we go through what I call the power of the pause. There will be moments that some people want to labor as depression or let, let's name it something different and call it the power of the pause. Let's call the challenges diamonds. Mm -hmm because diamonds are no different from what we go through when life steps in. Sure, my husband's company calls it opportunities. That's right. They call it opportunities. And you, you've created some opportunities for exactly. yourself, even through in, throughout your speaking and your writing, right. a jewelry line has emerged. Yes, yes. I have one piece that's, that's around my neck, that's which is gorgeous. a symbol in the book. And what does the symbol it's mean? It's an Adrinka, Af a West African symbol mm -hmm. that stands for strong will, rooted in faith and strength, mm -hmm. yet flexible. Okay. And that, to me, you is like the key I do. to success. And you're saying that it's right here on the book? It's right on the book. Okay. It's all through the book mm -hmm. because we don't want you to forget it because life changes in a megasecond. Mm -hmm. And we've got to be ready for it and have that adaptability. This necklace can be custom made for anybody, whether it's cufflinks or charms or earrings or this right. at Vincent's Jeweler. And we're showing you jewelry right now. And I have, uh, I have a young lady, Brenda LaRue, who has designed an entire line of, of costume jewelry. Mm -hmm. Everything is crystal, gold, sparkly, or pearls. Blingy. I love it. Yeah, yes, you walked in and because that's what you are inside. See, we've got to remember that even in our darkest moment, that the gold in us never tarnishes. Gold never loses its value, no matter what life throws What's our the best way. advice to keep that confidence? What do you tell people to keep that confidence? Well, one of the things I'm, I'm expressing in the book is know who you are inside. Know when challenges come that you've gotten through them before you'll get through them again. Mm -hmm. And that we all seek that period that I call the pearl life where you say, oh, I got it now. But life starts all over again. Mm -hmm. So we've all experienced death of a loved one, loss of a job, broken heart from a career, a loss of an affair that didn't turn out. But guess what? That memory is going to help you enjoy a blues song someday. Yes, it is. <laughs> Turn it around. And you know what? It's a transition, right. which makes it's me think about transition. your transitional yes. women's center. Can you talk about that a little bit, please, Oh, yes. Charlotte? That's an honor. A relative of mine, which all of us have, one out of three families have a person who's been uh, become addicted to drug and alcohol abuse. Mm -hmm. I can understand how that happened because of the way we were raised, mm -hmm. but it did. And I got very, very active in trying to educate myself and got involved with a program called Black Alcohol Drug Service and Information Center. Mm. And I ended up becoming their board of direct on their board of directors. Fourteen years later, they decided to focus just on women, mm -hmm. and they gave me the honor of dedicating the building, wow. the building wow. and the program in awesome. my name. And Malik Yoba came, correct? Malik Yoba, who was one of my mentorees at a time, wow. he came in as well as over uh, friends from over 32 friends from over 12 different cities who had worked and and knew my passion for this and entertainers like Denise Times mm -hmm. and I mean uh, the Bosman twins all dedicated a CD uh, for the dedication oh, and told is. little testimony so we have a CD for that oh, so I'm I'm highly blessed and it's mm -hmm. not because I haven't lost a business. Mm -hmm. I've been a millionaire a couple of times and lost it. Mm -hmm. Got it again, lost it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been in love and my heart's been broken. I've lost my father, lost my fiance three months before we were to get married. But I didn't lose me. Mm. I went to Oprah's show, and I wanted to tell you this in the time. I went to Oprah's show when she was here. 17,000 people in the audience. You know Best of STL was there. Ah, okay, that's yes, right. We were there. That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, well, you remember, 77 percent of 17,000 people said they were in pain. Mm. I'm looking for the 23. Mm. Because I don't want any more of us to slip sure. into that obelisk mm -hmm. of pain or celebrating it. Mm -hmm. Because you have everything. God's been good. Yes, he has. We have everything we need to get everything we want. And if it's not for us, he loves us so much he'll say not now. Mm -hmm. And everything that you'll read in the book is some of my own personal stories where I just knew it. I was going this way and I was doing it my way. <laughs> and destiny, my divine order stepped in. So I want to remind people that you don't have to give up. You don't have, you define your success. They have a person. They have a purpose. 
yes. their lives have a Always. purpose. Always. Now, Kara, did you know that she also wrote a children's book, or you're writing I'm a writing children's, children's, children's book? I'm writing a children's book called Auntie Charlotte Says. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> I have no brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I have no children. So it's the one thing that I don't, I can't be, mm -hmm. is an aunt. So as I've met children, because they're very intimidating to mm. me, you know. <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> when I meet children, I said, will you do me a favor just for today, just for this hour? Let me be Auntie Charlotte. And I tried that first on Will and Jada Pinkett's children. Really? When they were, I was touring them through New York, and I became Auntie Charlotte. That's wonderful. So we've carried that on, and I have what I call NIMS, nieces and nephews, uh -huh. <laughs> that are going to ask the questions, and Auntie Excellent. Charlotte yes. says. Well, you have to come back on and talk about that. Oh, when definitely. You're here. We have to give out information on how you can. Definitely. I'm excited to hear that. Charlotte. Now, Amazon has the books. You can make sure that you go on to Amazon and, and pick up a copy. Obviously, it's inspirational and it's important for you. It's a special edition. A special edition. Special edition. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. And you then have an autograph line, so it's really going to be special. <laughs> CharlotteOtley.com is another place you can go to get more information. Charlotte, thank you so much. Oh, no, You're tremendous. You. What a blessing. You go to the show. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, we're going to keep talking to Charlotte a little bit, but you're going to go over to LJ Reeve, who's in the audience. LJ? Hi, I am here with Maria Moyer, who's the 2012 chair, event chair for the Tour de Cure. Yes. Tell us about this event. Well, the Tour de Cure is a cycling event benefiting the American Diabetes Association. Um, it's a cycling event that's actually held in 80 cities across the wow. nation, and it's our largest fundraiser for diabetes in the country. So um, we're anticipating well over a thousand cyclists a this thousand year. Cyclists. Yeah, it's it's a great event. Um, it's really we really pride ourselves on being more of a a bike ride versus a bike race. Okay, so good. We, we really, then I could come. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> me too. Okay. <laughs> so um, we offer several different routes. We have a 16 mile route, a 30 mile route, a 50. Then I can't come. <laughs> So is this for like adults or children or the whole family can come? The whole come? family can come. Great. Um, we actually have a lot of parents that their children actually have diabetes. So wow. they come out and they act kind of like a, as ambassadors for, um, for our cause. And they, they ride the 16 mile. They have their little bike totes along and carrying their kids along mm -hmm. the way. So um, it, it does. It caters to uh, both the families as well as your avid cyclists who are out there riding 100 miles in 100 degree okay, heat. Okay, you're intimidating so. me. So no. what if Don't. I still want to help because uh, diabetes is very near and dear to my yes. heart. Several of my family members have it. So what can I do if I want to sit at home and watch? I, <laughs> and, but help. We are always looking for volunteers. Okay. Um, we also have um, virtual riders. Virtual riders. So you can actually go online and register to be a a virtual cyclist, okay. which means you don't actually have then to get I on a bike. Do the hundred miles. Right, you can do a hundred miles. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and you know, raise help raise money for diabetes. Okay. Um, we also one of our huge um, local sponsors, Gold Gem, Gold's Gym, it's my gym. is actually going to have stationary bikes at our wow. finish line. So we'll have people who don't really ride a bike, like me. Okay. I, that's why I volunteer. Okay. Um, they can ride a stationary bike and r help raise money for diabetes too. Great, so you need more sponsors and we, you need donations. We do, we need money. Um, we need money, 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 yes, money, money. we need sponsors. Okay. We're always looking for new corporate sponsors in, our, in the St. Louis area. Um, we have a lot of local businesses that do a lot for the American Diabetes Association. Okay, I'm sold, I'm sold. Tell me where to go, tell me when to come, tell me what time to be there virtually. You got it. <laughs> Um, our event is held Saturday, June 2nd okay. at Raging Rivers Water Park in Grafton, Illinois. Great. Um, the event starts at early, okay. 6 a.m. in the morning. That's okay. I'm yeah. going to be virtual. Yes. And if you want more information, you can always go to the diabetes website, which is www.diabetes.org slash STL tour. Thank you so much for Thank being on the Thank you for show. having me. This yeah, is great. Yeah, we got to go fun. out and do that. Yes, so make sure, June 2nd. June 2nd. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I'm riding virtually. Come see me. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have a trivia question today, and you are my trivia contestant. Tell us your name, sir. I'm Eric. Eric. It's just one name, like Madonna, like Beyonce. Just <laughs> Eric. Need. Just, okay. That's okay. I don't know who you're hiding from, <laughs> but oh, here we go. Eric, I have a trivia question for you. 
which St. Louis native won the Academy Award for his supporting role in the comedy of Fish called Wanda? And I have my own theme music. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Do I get multiple choice? <laughs> no, one choice. <laughs> okay, I'll give you multiple choice. A, B, C. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein? No, that's the correct Kevin answer. Klein. That is it. Kevin <laughs> Klein. You almost made me. I got designer excited. <laughs> You can't play anymore. <laughs> Kevin Klein is the okay, correct now. answer, and you get a gift card from our sponsors here, Sam's, for $35. Thank you. Well, good. Let's give it up for Eric. No last name. Thank you so much for playing our trivia question, and let's see what Cassandra is doing over there in the kitchen. LJ, you didn't even get to the end of your theme song before he knew the answer to that one. They're catching on to you, LJ. Well, I'm back in the kitchen with Chef Pelly, hey, I got it right, and Jim Lake. Now, I'm going to start off here with Jim really quickly, because, Jim, you're with the alcohol and food and beverages section. That I, that I am. That you are. That so it takes a special art, as we talked about before, to mix alcohol. Some people think they, you know, they got it going on at home, but you actually say, come see me. Hey, yeah. It's more about balance. Balance. So tell me what you're balancing today. Uh, we are balancing um, pineapple juice, lemonade, and orange juice, about three-fourths of an ounce of each. All right. And then we have a half ounce of cognac. Okay. Now, why cognac? Um, just to really level out the flavor of the Malbec. Okay. Which has a really strong, smoky flavor, and mm -hmm. doing about an ounce and a half of that. Okay. Is it important to measure everything out? Uh, it is, because consistency is what really uh, shoots the drink home. Aha. Uh -huh. Absolutely. See, I told you there's no art to it. It is. I so I like tried. this part when people <laughs> shake it up like and in then, the little container. Uh oh. A little messy. That's kind of like that shaker weight thing they have out now. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> <Like that. laughs> <You're right. laughs> all right, so then you mix it all up. Now, do they get that glass right there? Uh, oh. No, uh, this glass right here. Oh, okay, glass. so they get another glass. Wow, that looks beautiful. It is. All pretty right. Tasty. It smells like it's tasty. It is. But I won't be tasting it, Jim. But thank you. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, while we're smelling that, let's go over here to you, Chef Pelly. Hi, hi, hi. Chef, you got everything out for yep, me. Yep, I'm ready to go. Okay, so tell me what you're going to do now. I'm ready. First thing we're going to do is going to take some fresh mango. Uh-huh. Put a little bit of roasted red pepper. Mm. Some jalapeno. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. A little bit of tomato. Okay. Now, you measure yours with your hand. Yeah. Okay. Magic hands. Absolutely. <laughs> a little salt. Like Grandma used to do. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to squeeze some fresh lime juice onto wow. that. My mouth is watering already. And then, stir it up. <laughs> now it has a little spicy kick yes, to it. Yes, it's got some jalapeno in it. Uh -huh. And then right before you serve it, a little bit of red onion. Delicious. And, and then that lime juice is gonna break everything down. Wonderful, now that's a signature dish. Yes. There. People wanna come in for that mango salsa. That's the one. I like it, like it. And it was quick and easy for you to make, but yes. see, I wouldn't be able to do that that well. And this is the one you want. Yes, now the guacamole. The guacamole. Oh, yes. All right, so first we're gonna do is take some tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Some red onion. Again, we just mix it with our hands. Yep. Slice and dice. This is poblano pepper. Poblano, hmm, never heard of that. It's, uh, it's when, it, when it matures and dries, it's mm -hmm. called ancho. Oh, okay. So, I like that. A little bit of jalapeno. All right. We're going to slice a little bit of this beautiful stuff, why the you, avocado. Why do you think fresh guacamole just is, is the king of all guacamole? It's, just, it, it's fresh. I mean, it's the, we import all of our stuff every day. Wow. Um, like I said earlier, we have all the different salsas. Mm -hmm. We import everything from Mexico, mm -hmm. and we also have our own farm over in Belleville, Illinois, wow. called Foundations Farm. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of our herbs um, and uh, produce and stuff Come all comes there. fresh. And we're looking at the yellow Diablitos restaurant right That's there. It. <laughs> and you can see the, the little dinosaurs you on can. top. You can. Now tell me, do you also cater? Yes, we do cater. All right, I love the inside, by the way, the way that it's decorated. Yeah, it's beautiful. So when you come there, what can guests expect? Uh, absolute fresh Mexican food, mm -hmm. uh, great drinks, mm -hmm. great atmosphere, great, great time. And what is, what is the most requested meal? Uh, the fish tacos and the tamales. Really? What kind of tamales? Tamales are, uh, they're braised pineapple pork. Oh, 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 Jim, come back and bring those for you me. You got it. Yeah. So Anytime. keep on mixing. Okay, so we've got our avocado, our poblano, our jalapeno, a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Once again, fresh lime juice. 
Wow, you make it look so easy, and it's not. And then just mix it up. Mix it up. Oh my goodness. And then you will wind up with those lovelies over there. Right, that we just saw in the camera screen. Oh, absolutely fantastic. And let me tell you, I already had a little bit of it. <laughs> Delicious. I had probably about 20 chips. Okay, 30, but who's counting? Anyway, so wonderful. Now let me ask you this. What is your favorite meal? I love all the salsas. All of them? All of them. And do you make all of them personally? Yep. Well, I, I try. Okay. Well. <laughs> it's kind of hard to be there, but uh, yeah, it's it, every single thing from the pineapple salsa, mango salsa, we have a watermelon salsa, Wonderful. a roasted jalapeno salsa, everything made every day fresh. And 3761 Laclede That's Station Road. Laclede Ro Avenue. Laclede Avenue. Yeah. 3761. Yep. All right, so make sure you get down there. We're going to come back at the end of the show and have a little taste test. I've already had some but I have to share it with my host. No, no All right, thank you so much. This has been wonderful. Now, we have another segment coming up because you know Ivy's not with us today, but she will not be counted out. She went out and found some stories for us. Our own Ivy Hartman had a chance to sit down with Shelby Scales, the Executive Director of the Airport Minority Advisory Council, to discuss the upcoming National Business Diversity Conference that's taking place at Lambert Airport. Let's take a look. Hey, you guys, I am sorry that I couldn't be with you on this show this time, but I couldn't miss this opportunity to introduce you to Shelby Scales and a really cool event coming to St. Louis. Shelby's the executive director of AMAC, and we'll tell you what that is in just a minute. But the event is the 28th annual business airport business diversity conference. Shelby, tell us what that is and what that means for St. Louis. It is a great conference where we're bringing airports from all across the country to come into the St. Louis region to bring business opportunities. So we'll have rental cars there, we'll have airport professionals there, we'll have FAA, USDOT, as well as other businesses that your local businesses would want to do partnering with. Now this is a national conference. It is. As we mentioned, it's the 28th annual. Mm -hmm. So how often does something like this come to St. Louis? We have not been in St. Louis in years, um, so this is the first time that I can recall that we've been here at St. Louis, but we hope to come back again and do more regional events with you all. So the Aviation Minority Advisory mm -hmm. Council, what is, your, what is that role of that organization? We focus on two issues. First of all, we want to reduce the barriers to um, contracting and employment in the aviation industry as it relates to minority and women businesses trying to get into the aviation industry. Second of all, we also want to provide opportunities for employment. So we try to remove those barriers that those small businesses, minority and disadvantaged businesses have in getting into aviation work. You know, when you think of a small business owner or a minority or disadvantaged or women-owned business, mm -hmm. they're always looking for, it seemed like, the government tra contracts or the end yes. the big golden nugget that you can get. Yes. But Talk about the big golden nugget that airports can serve and help your business. Airports are like many cities. There are many contractual opportunities for uh, small businesses. And if you think about an airport, they have many malls in their terminals. So they have restaurants, they have retail spaces, they have graphic designers. They need um, all sorts of service um, providers like um, tires for the rental cars, fueling, um, IT services. So there are many nuggets that if you peel back the layer a little bit, you can find an opportunity for most businesses at an airport. That's an interesting you should point that out because as a lay consumer, I mm -hmm. think mostly retail, you know, right. and that's the services you need in an airport right. environment. But you really peel back the layers. Oh, so certainly. I mean, if you think about walking through a terminal and you hear the voiceovers, yeah. that's a service provider. When you look at the screens, that's an IT provider. That's awesome. Well, even more than what AMAC is doing, there's the con there's a lot more going on at the conference right. than just the conference itself. Let's highlight the two. The, well, we've got three keynote speakers. Yes, we do. Two of them from outside of St. Louis. Yes. Very excited about yeah. it. We have David Kim, who's the former CEO of Baja Fresh. We also have a young man, Jamar Lawkins, who started Accenture Air Air Services. It's an aviation company as well. So we're very excited to have those entrepreneurs right. tell their story of how they got into aviation, but how our audience can learn from their mistakes and their challenges as well. Which it brings a whole nother component that is, is part of the conference is the Project Lift. Trying yes. to get that information out there to the next generation yes. about how you can get involved in aviation careers. Exactly. I'm very excited. That's very near and dear to my heart in terms of the next generation of aviation professionals. Project list stands for leaders inspiring future talent and so we're going to expose high school and college students 
to um, aviation related careers at the airport. So they'll actually get to come to the airport, review operations at the airport, but learn from professionals and how they were able to get their jobs and in th into their careers. So That's we're very really excited about that. Because I really feel like that industry is kind of passe and very mystical. How do you get into yes. it? So I can see where, and how <laughs> yes. do students find out more about that? And get well, we're actually it? working alongside your construction charter high school. Okay. It's a local high school here that we're partnering with as well as HOK and Lambert St. Louis Airport. So those three partners got together to um, develop the program and we're inviting over 30 students to participate from the local community in that so program. I know that the conference is actually June 9th through 12th at America Center yes. and you can still register if you go online to meetings.explorestlouis.com forward slash AMAC. Again, the conference, the 28th annual conference is here in St. Louis mm -hmm. at America's Center June 9th through 12th. If you're a small business owner, a minority business owner, a woman-owned business, you definitely don't want to miss this opportunity to get with some of those movers and shakers in the aviation field and hopefully make some connections and some contracts. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. I, I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, it was fun. Thank I learned you. a lot. I hope you did. Make sure you take advantage of the opportunity. Speaking of opportunities, I know you don't want to miss an opportunity, so I'll send it back to our host, the best of the STL. That was so informative. Thank you, Ivy. Now, as you can see, I'm getting ready to have a little bit of guacamole. It's so delicious. So while we're doing that, we're going to hear from Greek Fire. So don't touch that dial. Coming up after the break, Greek Fire. Disarm you with a smile and cut you like you want me to Cut that little child inside of you and such a part of me
Ann Phillips from Greek Fire. Welcome. Thank you. That was great. Nice to meet no you. No big right. deal, guys. Well, what do we do? Uh, where does the name Greek Fire come from? It's a secret. It's a secret? If you tell me you got to kill me? Kill me? I don't kill people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what's the inspiration behind the band then? You obviously, it's a secret, but there's inspiration to come together for a band. Yeah, um, I've been playing music since a long, long time ago, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been in another band that's been doing it for, you know, long, long, long time. So we started the second band just to kind of do, do something different, you know, mm -hmm. a different direction, different artistic direction. It's working. Wonderful. It is. Thank you. <laughs> now, yes. I want to talk about a cause yes. you have. Uh, you created a video, and it was for a special reason. Can you tell us about that? And, and when you filmed the video, actually, you filmed it right here at STL Studios. studios. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we right, have right here. Right here in right our here. facilities. Yeah. How did that work out for you? It was great. It was great. Um, yeah, we. It's your drummer. Yeah, um, we went to Japan for a tour, and we returned, and everything's great. You know, um, we find out that our drummer was diagnosed with leukemia. You know, I mean, one day everything's great. Mm. Next, day. Next day, like, bam. You know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you can imagine how, you know, how devastated everyone mm -hmm. was. You know. So um, it just kind of like rocked all of our worlds. You know, and. Um, you know, we just, music was the last thing any of us thought about. Um, you know, the band stuff's kind of the last thing any of us thought about, you know, and, uh, I don't know, after, you know, after some time went by, I just, you know, I was like, picked up my guitar, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a song and kind of put in the music kind of what I'm feeling right now, you know, mm -hmm. what, I'm, what I'm going through. And, uh, I don't know, this song just happened and I gave it to my singer and he, uh, he just wrote the, the most amazing lyrics ever, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was jogging. I was just like, what can I do? I mean, you know, like I, I lost my father to cancer. Mm. Um, I kind of have some experience with that, you mm. know, and it's like, what can I do? I, 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 you know, I just feel helpless, you mm -hmm. know? I feel like I, it's just, it's just like this most, like the worst, most helpless feeling. It's like when your best friends in the world is just going through hell, you know, and it's, mm -hmm. what can I do? I mean, I can go to the hospital, I can do this, that, whatever, but like, what can I do, you know? So, um, I don't know, I was just jogging one day and I just like, you know what, I, I can at least, use my talents for for something in a positive way so yeah. you know just like bam this idea for this video came together and we just went crazy and uh who actually put the video together then i did i it's incredible thank you Th oh you thank I you i watched it and i yeah. wanted to cry i mean it's moving powerful right mm -hmm. we actually have a little bit of the video uh here that we're going to show for for our viewers to see well, why don't you talk us through uh the concept behind the video um well if you notice the video is just, it's pretty much my singer, you know, we didn't want to, you don't really see any of the other bands mm -hmm. so much, you know, because we, we didn't really want it to be like the band to be the focus on it. We just wanted the, the, the message, the lyrics, and just the kind of the song to speak for itself and not really make yes. it like a, like a band okay. thing, you know. It's more about the cause than the band, you know. Yeah. We're going to take a second and actually listen to the sound of the video. We have it up now.
So by purchasing the, the one song, all the proceeds will go to him. Johnny mm -hmm. Venus is the drummer. How is he doing now? He's doing amazing. He, uh, all the, the he, better than anyone could have ever imagined. The, he responded so good to all the chemo. He's in, under amazing care at the hospital. and. Like really, really, really amazing. That's you know, wonderful. And in one day it was on and what, you've got like 15,000 hits already on the YouTube? Yeah, on the YouTube. So yeah. Wow. So everybody That's can awesome. watch this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Thanks for doing that, Ryan. Oh, That's man. That's awesome. It was, uh, it was, it's nothing. This has to it make is. his journey a, a little, little bit easier. Bit, yeah, a little, little bit lighter. easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if Hopefully. you want to get involved, go ahead. Yeah, just, let's kind of throw it out there. Like, like the main... I mean, his story is like obviously affected all of us that's close to his friends and family, but like the, mo like the most important thing is if, if people see the video, like if it can inspire other people that are kind of going through that, mm -hmm. you know, to, to kind of hang on and, and to fight and, you know, that, that's, that's what it's all about to us, you know, yeah. then, then like we did our job, you know. Yes. So hopefully it can inspire other people that are kind of going through that thing, you know. It's that's a video that will. Exactly. Definitely. Definitely. If people want to get involved with Greek Fire, they can uh, at yeah. Go Greek. Uh, that's the Twitter. So mm -hmm. that because I know you say you're learning about Twitter. Yes. That's the Twitter sign. Yeah. And you can get more information on how you can purchase the CD, the, the a DVD. CD. And go me. on and watch it. It is absolutely incredible. Absolutely, it is. Thank you so much, Ryan, Thank for coming on. Thank you away. very much. Now we're going to go to LJ, who is in the den, because you know what? She's in the loop. For all my people in the loop that are out of the loop, I am about to officially hook you up. My new favorite place is Jazz on Broadway in Alton, Illinois. Every Friday night at 8 o'clock p.m., you can hear some of the best jazz from cats like Tim Cunningham, Anita Jackson, and Theo Peoples. So take a trip across the bridge and check out Jazz on Broadway. Meet me at the Muni. If you have not been to this theatrical gym here in St. Louis, you've got to check them out this season. This season they have shows like Chicago, Aladdin, and Dreamgirls will be engracing the incredible outdoor stage. Season starts June 18th and tickets are available and on sale now. The Missouri Botanical Garden in St. Louis hosts the international exhibition of the larger than life lighted works from China in 2012 at the Lantern Festival presented by Emerson, May 26th through August 19th. A wimba wump, a wimba wump, a wimba wump, a wimba wump. Disney's The Lion King is coming to the fabulous Fox Theater on August the 15th through September 2nd. Tickets are available at the Fox Box Office or through MetroTix.com. And last but certainly not least, the 2012 Visa Championships of the Women and Men's Gymnastic Team at the Shapitz Arena at St. Louis University, June 7th through the 10th. Tickets are available at the Shapitz Box Office or through MetroTix.com. You, my friend, have officially been hooked up in the loop. I'm your host on that segment, LJ Reeves. Let's see what they're doing over there in their kitchen. Thank you, LJ. Yes, I like you your little wee ma wee a wee ma wee. You, you know what? You may have another career, LJ. I'm just saying. <laughs> they always need extras. Well, I'm back in the kitchen with a chef over here, mm -hmm. our main chef, Z Kelly. Chef. Z yes. Chef. And Jim, the mix master of the drinks. And I mean, everything's been spectacular. Would you say so, Charlotte? Absolutely. And how many chips did she do? How many have you been through now? <laughs> Me? Yes. I'm not counting. I'm just saying 30, 40. <laughs> Who's counting? We're here to serve you. Yes. Yeah. Well, let, let me know yes. what you think about that, Charlotte. Yeah, definitely. And while she's trying that, Jim, is this one of your mm -hmm. favorite drinks that you mix today? Uh, it is one of my uh, favorite. Uh, Margaritas are also pretty. The uh, Oaxaca Michelada is mm -hmm. also pretty outstanding. We Sounds have there. like I like the name Oaxaca quick, Michelada. Quick question. Can I ask a quick yes, question? Yes, please do. Mm -hmm. Quick question. Why, in, when you make the incredible mango salsa, why do you put the onions in the very last thing? I didn't get that. It's, it's just to keep them a little fresher. Oh, okay. The, oh, lime, okay. the lime would break the onion down. It's absolutely fantastic. I mango told salsa. you. Oh, See? my gosh. See, now oh, look at LJ like over here. LJ, oh, no. what's your question? Because I can tell you're rolling it around <laughs> in your taste buds. Where are you getting these chips from? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put some of these. These are, are delicious. delicious. Yes. Oh, my God. Everything is delicious. And we're going to give out the information again so you can go to Diablitos Cantinas. Oh, you Cantinas. want to. Definitely. Yes, you want to. Kara's already oh making a reservation. Gosh. I'm yeah. already booked. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And Charlotte, are you enjoying it? Very much. Nice. All right, then you Very might want to nice. dial 314-644-4430 and make your reservation. You know, we always enjoy having you on the show. All of you for coming. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you, yes. Chef. Thank you, Charlotte. Yes, thank you, Ryan, and for coming course. on and talking about your band as well. And, of course, thank you to our sponsors. Mm -hmm. right?
Thank you to our sponsors, to our great live audience, of course, an incredible band, yes. and of course, our at-home viewers, always thank you to you. And last but certainly not least, we've been talking about the band, loving the band, Great Fire. Take us out of here. Yes, it's always the same. The ending we know. But that's not why we came. The air is alive. And the people are waiting. The moment's arrived. And the angels are shaking Oh, under the stars With every name There is nothing new under the sun No, it's always the same Oh, this world will go on It's always repeating Oh, the show It's always repeating. Keep it going. It's all